Hi everybody, today's focus, I'm testing Aerial Matic Laundry Detergent to see how well it removes bacteria from cleaning cloths. This video is a viewer request. My viewer Zero Goza mailed me a bunch of different laundry detergents to do some stain testing on. They also included this one laundry detergent to be bacteria tested. So it's called Aerial Matic and it was made in Vietnam. This product is not made in the United States. Actually has a little sticker warning on it here. I'm gonna read it to you and explain what that means. So the sticker on the front just reads, this product is not a product authorized by the United States trademark owner for importation and is physically and material different from the authorized product made in Vietnam. So what does it actually mean? I'll show you a close-up of the product as I'm explaining it. So this is what's known as a gray market product. It's not fake, it's genuine. Um, it's made by the real brand and it was manufactured for sale in another country. Then it was imported into the United States without permission from the US distributor. Because of that, it might be slightly different from what you get if you bought the same brand in a US store. It could have different ingredients, scents, packaging, or even a concentration. This particular one was made in Vietnam, for example, not for the US market originally. These kinds of products are completely legal to sell in the United States. They just have to have that sticker warning on them. So since this product was made in Vietnam for use in Vietnam, I can't really read everything about it. However, they do have a sticker in English which has the ingredients, which is great. But it does have on the top of the packaging anti-bac. So my viewer does want me to test this to see how well it can remove bacteria from cleaning cloths. So the first thing I'm gonna do to test this laundry detergent is just take some white cotton washcloths and mark them so I know where I'm gonna do my testing. I'm going to rub these washcloths in different areas around my home to get bacteria on the cloths. So I'll be rubbing them in my kitchen sink, bathroom sink, and toilet rim. Then I'm gonna take a petri dish just like this guy here and label it A, B, and C. Then I'm gonna take some sterile swabs and swab the cloths. And I'll place that sample in the section labeled B for before. Then I'm gonna wash the cotton cloths on the towel setting in my washing machine. When they come out of the washing machine, I'm gonna swab them again and place that sample in the section labeled A for after. So we'll be able to see how much bacteria is on the cloth before it was washed and after it was washed. Then I'm gonna put the cloths in my dryer and dry them on high heat for one hour. When they come out of the dryer, I'll swab them again and put that sample in a separate Petri dish so we can see how much bacteria is on the cloths after it comes out of the dryer. So this is just the standard way that I do my laundry tests for bacterial removal. Now I know there are a lot of variables that I can change. I can change the water temperature. I can change how long the cycle is. I can change if it has an auto soak or not. I also can change the drying time and the drying temperature. But to stay consistent with all of my laundry tests, I wash them on my towel setting and then dry them in my dryer for one hour on high heat. So I'm sitting here editing this video and I forgot to mention that part of the conversation I had with my viewer was that this detergent and some of the other detergents that they sent me were not made for an HE high efficiency washing machine. So I did make my settings deep fill and deep rinse in order to simulate a traditional washing machine. In the future, I do plan on doing some variations also, but for now, that's how I test. I do have a video though where I tested drying in the sun. So if you don't have a dryer and you wanna see how well drying in the sun works, I do have a video on that and I will put that in the description below. I also have a control video where I test washing with just water and washing with bleach. So you can see how those do as well. I'll put that in the description below also. So let's see how well Aerialmatic from Vietnam removes bacteria from my cleaning cloths.
Now for some results. When we look at the results, the before section is the white cleaning cloth after it wiped the area, but before it was placed in the wash machine. The after section is going to be after it came out of the wash machine after being washed with the Ariel. Let's look at the cleaning cloth that was used to wipe the kitchen sink. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, we can see a visible decrease in bacteria. So just washing with the Ariel soap did seem to decrease a little bit of the bacteria. Now let's have a look after this cloth came out of the dryer. So I know it's a little hard to see in this photo, but there are about half a dozen small bacterial colonies, but it did a good job at decreasing the bacteria on this cleaning cloth. Let's have a look at them all together. So you can see before it was washed, after coming out of the wash machine, and then after coming out of the dryer. Let's move on to the cloth that was used to wipe the bathroom sink. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, we can see a visible decrease in bacteria. So we can see after it was washed with just the Ariel, it did decrease some of the bacteria. Let's have a look after it came out of the dryer. It might be difficult to see in the photo, but there are about a dozen bacterial colonies on the dish after coming out of the dryer. So the dryer was not able to eliminate all of the bacteria, but it did decrease it quite a bit. Let's have a look at them all side by side. So you can see before washing, after coming out of the wash machine, and then after coming out of the dryer. Next, let's look at the cleaning cloth that was used to wipe the toilet rim. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, again, we're seeing a visible decrease in bacteria, but there's still quite a bit of bacteria on that cloth. Let's have a look at it after it came out of the dryer. So there's still quite a bit of bacteria on this cleaning cloth even after coming out of the dryer. So I'm gonna put in the description below my control videos where I test with just water and bleach, two separate tests. But I wanna show you the comparison of washing these cleaning cloths with just water versus the aerial detergent. Just remember, this test was done months ago, but it will give you an idea of how much bacteria is on a cloth before and after cleaning with just water. Let's look at the kitchen sink. So the cloth that was washed in just water has a tremendous amount of bacteria left over on it. And when we compare that with the aerial detergent, we can see that the aerial detergent does decrease the bacteria. It appears a bit more than just the water did the bathroom sink. So the cloth that was washed in just water has more bacteria on it in the after section than the aerial does. So we can say that the aerial detergent does seem to decrease some of the bacteria on the cleaning cloth. Let's have a look at the cloth that was used to wipe the toilet rim. So the cloth that was washed in the water, again, still has a tremendous amount of bacteria on it. And the cloth that was laundered with the aerial laundry detergent does seem to have a tremendous amount of bacteria as well. It looks like there might be less bacteria on the one with the detergent than the water. So overall, we can see that the aerial laundry detergent is decreasing some of the bacteria from these cleaning cloths. However, it is not removing the bacteria completely. Even after going through the dryer, these cleaning cloths did still have bacteria on them. Now, as for the scent of the Aerial Matic laundry detergent from Vietnam, it does have written on the package downy, so it is infused with some sort of downy scent. It is a bit of a strong scent. It does smell just very perfumey. I didn't notice the scent lingering at all. I noticed it mostly when I was taking it out of the packaging and pouring it into the washing machine, but it doesn't seem to linger long after being washed and dried in the dryer. So thank you Zaragoza for mailing me this aerial detergent from Vietnam. It was definitely interesting to test. If there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comments section and I will add it to my viewer suggestion list. Or you can mail me something. My email address is in the description below. Do me a favor, send me an email. Let's have a conversation about the product. It might be something that I've already tested. It might be something that I have in queue at home. Or it might be something that I don't have the ability to test. But let's have that conversation about it and then I will give you my mailbox address. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, have yourselves a great day.